at this point, I want us now to talk about the hide limbs, or what we call the legs, okay? And uh, we know that uh, there are two hind limbs, uh, which we also refer to as uh, the legs. And uh, the hind limbs have uh, four, or rather five types of bones, okay? The first bone, the uppermost bone, which articulates with the pelvic giddle, is a bone known as femur, also known as a thigh bone. And, uh, and femur articulates with tibia and fibula, which forms the lower leg. Okay, And then between the two, there is another small bone known as patera, or kneecap. And then we have at the distal edge of the fibia and tibula, we have uh, a number of bones which, uh, which are referred to as tassels, okay? So the distal edge of the fibia and tibula articulates with the tassels, okay? Uh, and the tassels are the, 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 the bones that are, are connected to the, to the foot. Okay, then next to the tassels, we have the metatarsals, and the uh, metatarsals are longer, okay, they are longer in size, and then we have the last group of bones that form the hind rib, known as phalanges. In man, these are the bones that form the toes, and in man, they are 14. In labids, they, they are 12. Okay, so these are the various uh, types of bone that form the hind limb. So after mentioning those bones, I want us to take each one of them and say something about, about them. So the first one is known as femur. In the board, I have displayed femur for you. And if you look at it closely, you find that uh, it uh, resembles a humerus, which is found in the forelimb. And uh, you find that it has almost similar features. But if you are keen, you note that there is slight difference between femur and humerus. Okay, so you find that it has a head. Uh, there is also the shaft. Then we have the distal head, which has cordyls, just like in humerus. And uh, on the board, again, I have displayed the various parts of the 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 femur uh, and we noted that the head of the femur articulates with the acetabula of the pelvic gill. We have already said this. And then uh, we need to note that uh, below the femur we have a tiny bone there known as patera, which uh, of course articulates with the uh, with the femur on the upper side, and it also articulates with the tibia and fibula on the lower side. Then the two other bones below the patera and below the femur are the tibia and fibula. And then we have the tarsals, the metatarsals, and then we have the phalanges. So I hope uh, that one is very clear. So we start with our bone femur. This is a long bone, what we refer to as the thigh bone and it's found between the hip and the knee, and uh, it has a lauded head, okay, which fits into the astabulum or the pelvic gill, forming ball and socket joint of the hip.